a hi in this video i'm going to show you how to do etl operation that is extract transform and load data from azure cosmos db that is no sql type to azure synapses analytics for analytics purpose so here in this video we're going to show you that we have a source called azure cosmos db which is actually hosting let's say huge load of no sql data which is kept in the form of items or as a records or record files now we want to transform that data into the azure synapses analytics why because azure synapses analytics is a data warehouse service where we will get the you know the uh, the analytics capability as well and you can also integrate this data warehouse service with the you know the other um, you know the business intelligence tools like uh, power bi or you know aws uh, quicksight you can integrate this you know this azure synapses analytics you know to get the more insight right so here main aim is how to migrate the data that is present in the Azure Cosmos DB with using the native capability of Azure Synapses Analytics, right? So for that case, what we do is we're going to use the native capability called Integrate. So Integrate helps us to build the, you know, the link between the Azure Cosmos DB with using Synapses linked services, which actually nothing but a connection between the, you know, basically a connection from Azure Synapses, Synapses Analytics workspace to Azure Cosmos DB, which actually authenticates the Azure Cosmos DB to extract the data, right? And then in the destination side, we also need to create another, uh, you know, the linked service basically, which will actually authenticate a dedicated SQL pool that we create on Azure Synapses Analytics. Okay. So in total, so here we have a source that is Azure Cosmos DB. And then we, here we have a, you know, the destination that is Azure Synapses Analytics. We're going to use the integrate capability and we, we're going to see that, you know, so how to migrate the data present with Azure Cosmos DB to Azure Synapses Analytics. And then we're going to see that and you know, how we can get the insights. Yeah. So that's the basic, you know, uh, information about this demo. Now, what I do is I'm going to take you to the, uh, basically I'm going to take you to the, my, um, my Azure subscription. So this is my Azure subscription. I'm currently in Azure Cosmos DB. I have already created an Azure Cosmos DB. And in this Azure Cosmos DB, you know, I have well preloaded certain data set in the sense I have the Azure Cosmos DB account. Now I have a database in that Azure Cosmos DB account. And underneath that database, you know, I have created a collections basically, which will store the records in the form of items. So in this one, if I open, that is, you know, I have, uh, you know, the table, I have the database called to-do list. So don't get confused with the name. So the my database name itself is a to-do list. And in that one to-do list, I have uh, you know, the collection called item one. And that item one basically, you know, containing the records in the sense it contains the records in the form of items. And as you see, you know, if I can go on, so you see that, you know, there are the, you know, the datas are being kept in the form of a Python dictionary or in the form of a hash table, right? So now, so you want to do an analytics work on these kind of setup data, right? So right now we have only 20, 20 records, but think like that, you know, when you have like a lakhs of records or you know, millions of records or billions of records. So in that case, how to get the insight on that one, right? So it is not easy to get the insight from here, but in that case, you know, generally the recommendation is to use the, you know, the data warehouse services. Okay. So, so the, the Azure provides a very extensive capability service called Azure Synapses Analytics, which is actually as I explained, it provides a data warehousing capability. So I have created an Azure Synapses Analytics workspace, which is actually acting as a destination in our case here. And in that analytics workspace, you know, what we do is we're going to open the, you know, the, uh, uh, the Synapses Studio. That's where we're going to do the, the required demo. In the sense, in this uh, Synapses Analytics Studio, I'm going to show you how to create, in a sense, how to integrate the source and, and destination and finally see that, you know, the data that is present in this Cosmos DB account database that is in the particular collections how to migrate that data into a data warehouse service and from the being there from the data warehouse service you know how you can do analytics work or just run a query right so basic aim is you know very simple here so if i go to the my original uh, the design diagram so this is one so how to integrate these you know azure synapses analytics into azure uh, you know synapses uh, how to integrate the cosmos db to azure synapses analytics all right okay so with that note being said um I will take you to the uh, my you know the the synapses analytics workspace so this is my synapses analytics workspace so here we're going to use integrate in the sense as i said we're going to uh, you know we're going to create an uh, you know we're going to create a pipeline something like this i'm going to just uh, delete this for now because this is not required now and we need to publish uh, for for the sake of uh, you know the the clearance so that's the reason so right now we don't have any integrate so i'm going to show you how to build it uh, that's the aim of this demo and then uh, we're going to go to the manage underneath the manage we need to uh, you know we need to do two prerequisite here so if you go to the manage we need to create a dedicated sql pool you see that you know i have created a dedicated sql pool why we need to create a dedicated sql pool is because you know once the data has been migrated in the sense 
to store your data guess which is been you know the the extracted from the source like cosmos db the recommendation is to use a dedicated sql pool because it provides an extensive capability that will actually helps you to you know fulfill your enterprise needs okay that's the reason i'm recommending you to create a serverless sql pool i mean dedicated sql pool so to create a dedicated sql pool you need to click on this new button right so for this demo this is a prerequisite step i for in my case i have already built because it's going to take some time that's the reason i have already created but how to create that that's what my aim is to show you here so you can slide it out so this is a performance level which you can keep it according to the uh, your need you see that you know there is an estimated price gets aligned as you move on move up and down of this slider okay so for now i have kept it very limited and then you provide your very good name here something like a very good name of your dedicated sql pool and then go to the the additional settings so next tags uh, by default you know i'm just keeping it default once the validation is success click on create so that will take a couple of minutes and then eventually it will create a dedicated pool something like this and it should be in online okay that's the step number one let's go to the step number two so in the step number two we actually need to create linked services as i said in the in the in the initial part of the demo that is you need to create a linked services between azure cosmos db and linked services for and i know azure synopsis analytics let's see how to do that okay so for that case what i do is basically you know i'm going to show you like you know, how did we create it right away to create it what you can do is you can go to the uh, there is a plus button and here choose the source our source is you know cosmos db for no sql okay so there are two flavors remember that you know you need to choose proper one that is if you have created a cosmos db account of no sql uh, uh, you know the flavor you need to choose that and then go to the continue and here you need to provide the the the, you know, the good name and then in the in the you know connect via the integration runtime you choose the default whatever it is all right and then go to the authentication type you can go to the you know the authentication type uh, basically uh, using the you know the using the uh, account key yeah so because we're going to use the account key so you can use it from there and then you know so enter manually in the sense here you can provide the you know the uh, authentication to the cosmos db using manual so right so or like this so if i go here so here when you when you choose the enter manually what you can do is you can go back to the cosmos db uh, and go to the uh, keys options underneath the cosmos db there is a url being present you can copy that url and then copy the url here in this option that is in the azure cosmos db account uri and then in the um, in the cosmos db key you can actually choose the cosmos db key like this that is uh, if you click on that i mark or i button you can just uh, copy later that is copy that particular data here and then put it in in place of here then you can you need to give the database name so what was my database name that you can get it by once you go to the you know the, the data explorer if you go to the data explorer whatever the the name that comes here that is uh, you know to do list you can you know can you can just uh, do a copy paste and then click on a test connect so it should get succeeded then you can click on a create button which actually creates a, a connection something like this okay that is cosmos db a list to in the sense cosmos db to do list okay so this is what the connection i did as well as i said you know whatever you know whatever i have showed you that's the same thing which i have already pre done so i'm just going to do a test connect in front of you again here you go so it is getting a test connected okay so remember that whatever the linked service that you what that you create here should be a test successful in the sense test test connection has to be successful then we need to do a create another linked services connection to the analytics as, as well okay so i have shown you this multiple times but in this again i will let me show you here so we need to choose the uh, azure synopsis analytics the first one that is uh, anal, you know azure synopsis analytics click on create and then give the good name here like this and then you know you can um, you can basically go for from the subscription as well that's no problem and choose the server name you know because uh, here you know we are actually using the dedicated pool you see that you know the server name the server name that is coming here is coming from the dedicated pool which i showed you there and then from there it will also show you the database name and in the authentication you can use the sql authentication and then go to the uh, you know the in the username you can get the username from the your synopsis workspace there is a sql admin username is there you can copy that and you must be remembering what is the password that you have given for this uh, sql admin that's the same password i'm passing and i'm putting in my case that is my super secret password here and then once you are done with it then you can click on a test connection so basically the connection should be successful okay so likewise i have also created the the azure synopsis analytics service connection that is linked service connections has been created both are working the other one that you see the these are all the default ones so we are not going to touch it and that is not belongs to me 
all right so these are the two prerequisites that we have done in the manage right now let's go to the uh, the the now let's go to the the third step right so we did a two step in the manage now we need to do um, so two step in the sense we created a sql pool we created the linked services right so in total two steps now we are going to the step number 3 that is integrate so integrate is you know basically as i said it is a feature underneath the synapses analytics which will help you to do the job that is copy the data from the source that is azure cosmos db account into the synapses analytics okay that's what i want to show you here so we create a integrate integration in the sense we going to create the integration between the azure cosmos db to synapses analytics by clicking on this one so click on this and then uh, there are the lots of options here so we going to use the copy data tool which is actually comes with a default template which will help you or which will actually ease us the job here so we going to use the built in copy command here and then i'm going to go, go to the uh, uh, click next so here what is our source our source is you know azure cosmos db no sql that's the reason i'm choosing that and in the connection it will give you the 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 linked service connection that is we have already shown and here you go right it has authenticated and it has able to you know the 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 it, it is able to protrude in the sense it is able to show the the containers or show the tables present underneath that cosmos db right generally we cannot call them as a you know the uh, the the tables here so basically we have a database and you have a container you can call it within the containers you are actually putting the lots of records all right and then within this you know i i don't have data in the items uh, collections i have a data within the you know the, the uh, this collection that is uh, container I mean, let me call it as a collection or container both are same it is nothing but you know a kind of a logical workspace underneath the database in a, in a azure cosmos db account okay so this is the collection you can call it right so that's what i'm using the two words don't get confused it is nothing but a table uh, you know a space underneath the database okay so remember for your information yeah all right so we gonna copy the data present in the item one collection okay so if i go to the item one so we have a 20 you know records underneath that in the sense uh, 20 items right we want to query something on those on those uh, data right so to do that we know we need to we are actually migrating that data into the synapses analytics now we are actually in the source side configuration so i have chosen this database right and then let me click on next and then here you can do a preview data so basically it should uh, preview the data which means that you know it has successfully did the job in the sense you see that you know how this data is getting you know uh, uh, you know been pulled from there right so it is possible because you know uh, if i can show you so there are lots of basically it is just pulling the 10 records as of now but there are 20 records in this uh, collection basically yeah um yeah which means that also if you are able to preview the data which means that uh, which is a good sign you can go next then right i will click on next so here we need to configure the destination store so here the, our destination store is synopsis analytics so if i go to the synopsis analytics so we need to use this synopsis analytics dedicated uh, uh you know the pools are just use synopsis analytics and then click on a synopsis analytics this one uh and then you know so you see that you know there is automatically there is an option getting created that is uh item one this is a source that is item one is a collection which contains the records which needs to be copied into a table underneath the underneath the you know the destination that is as a synopsis analytics and the table will be auto created so here for your information i have not creating any table it should get created automatically okay all right so next go to the next option so it says that you know there is a some error in the in the in the basically in the uh, error to fix it okay so i'll just go back to then so i will say skip the schema for all tables so and then you know it, it got the, the error got in the sense uh in the uh, in the data set we need to choose skip schema mapping for all table okay i'm just gonna keep it default and then we're gonna go to the next and here we need to give our pipeline name i will give my pipeline name as uh, cloud uh, uh, quick uh, labs uh, demo yeah so let's give me right names clear quick labs demo so this is my pipeline name that is a task name and then we go to the uh, staging so we should have a staging or else it will not work i'm keeping the default options in the description i'm not doing anything data consistency i'm not doing anything fault tolerance logging i'm not doing anything enable it is already checked so i'm just keeping it default in the staging account linked services you know we should choose it because that is how the copy will work in the in the you know synapses analytics so i'm just choosing that uh, in the storage pass you don't need to do anything and rest all configuration you just keep it default yeah all right but at the enterprise grade when you are doing it for production i would just recommend you to use it wherever it is demanding 
all right next go to the uh, uh, revive and finish path and you see that you know the mapping has happened now so we have the azure cosmos db for no sequel which contains a huge load of data which i wanted to migrate to synapses analytics that is a data warehouse solution and here it is using a staging environment that is uh, azure data lake storage gen 1 yeah all right so with that note i will just click on next everything looks to be perfect and then see that you know whether it is able to do this job you said when we have defined a pipeline it actually deploy it there is a deployment steps will be carried out in the sense you see that you know validating the copy run environment it did it got passed it created a data set it created a pipeline it is running the pipeline that is succeeded i will just say finish it yeah and if you go to the uh, this pipeline and and, uh, and go to the monitors now now we have created a pipeline we can directly jump to the monitor and you can see that you know the pipeline should be running here you go so this is our pipeline that is uh, cloud quick labs demo pipeline which we created just now so that pipeline is currently in a running stage you can also open and try to uh, you know visualize the activities here in more depth as well so there is a spec button you can also click on this details you see that you know it will it is actually shows you you know basically it will show you where depth information yeah all right so looks like um, it has uh, done the job how can i say it is done the job you, you know you can able to find it here currently it is in progress and uh, and it is succeeded you see that once it has succeeded which means that you know thumbs up it has done the job let's go to the so basically now you know we have copied the data present in the azure cosmos db to azure synapses analytics where the tables are being created dynamically because that's what we have defined now let's go and check the whether you know that has happened or not yeah to do that we need to click on a data so data is a feature within the azure synapses analytics which actually host the data that is you know, that is being copied or that is being created dynamically right so this is our sql database because i created an sql dedicated pool uh, underneath that we have a database called this is dedicated sql pool is a my database name and underneath that we have a, a, a tables if i refresh the table we should see a dynamically a table bar is being created you see that we have a dbo.items.1 table is been created and it has diagnosed the the column name as per the syntax okay if i go to the uh, uh, to the uh, to the cosmos db account we have 20 records following the same schema okay if schema changes maybe you will have the problem because i have not tested that's the reason i cannot commit on that but this demo definitely works for the records containing the same same schema when i say same schema in the sense a dictionary a record with the you know basically this is a dictionary record with the key value pair you know data right so you see that key and value so all these key value are same for all the 20 records and that is what it has based on that it has created the columns now we are good now let's see whether i can try to query the data right so if i can query this data by using select top 100 rows yeah once i run this data you see that you know current it is querying here you go right so we got the data which means that you know the no sql data which was present in the azure cosmos db uh, account right now we have converted into a sql format which is nothing but again a column format you know uh, column and, and you know the row format which is basically structured data right all right so here after you know so once you have a data which is stored in a structured format from here you can get a uh, lots of insight by running a uh, lots of queries against it or you can also integrate this table with the you know the the uh, business intelligence tools like power bi and get the record insights yeah all right so with that note i have uh, successfully shown you the uh, things need to be shown in this video finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot so with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video